Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to do a short demo of the document bailout of capability that's available to all users within Smartsheet. This is an excellent capability that enables users to quickly create PDF documents using the data from their sheets. It can be used in no end of use cases where data needs to be presented in a static, controlled and elegant way. For example, summarizing a project brief following the information having been collected via a form. In this case, it can then be circulated to stakeholders and archived as a controlled document. But for this demo, I'm going to show you a scenario where customers have ordered an item and a paper signature is required, rather than this being done via DocuSign, which I've shown in a previous demo. So here we are, we have a list of customer orders that have come in and one has already had the PDF document created you can see via the attachment here. So if I click on that link, you can see the document is created, open it up, and this opens up here. And here we can see the document that is there, ready to go. So if I just go back to the sheet here, now what I'm gonna do is I've got a filter on this to show me the ones that need a PDF document. So PDF required is required for these two um, items. Now I can, select them both and do them all at once. So you can bulk create the documents for as many rows as you want on a sheet. In this case, I'm just gonna show you one and then I'm gonna create another one just to take it through. So in this case, I'm gonna right click and go to the section here of generate documents. So this opens up the document builder and I've either got this one, which is the DocuSign version, which I don't want to use, or here I've got the paper signature, which is the PDF. And you can see the difference in the little icons up at the side here. So for the PDF one, all I'm gonna do now is click Generate. And what it's gonna do is I can either download it or attach it to row. So in this case, I'm gonna say attach to row and it's processing and hey presto, it's done. So if I return to sheet, you will now see that is now here. And if I click on this one, PDF has been created, open it up, and you can see the information that's in the sheet has now been added into here. So let's have a look in terms of how this process works and how can you do it yourselves. So let's now go in and select this one. Again, right click, click on generate documents. And what we're gonna do here is open up the sheet and I've got the order paper signature. I'm gonna create a new one in this case. So I go to the button to create and what kind of mapping do you want? PDF or eSign? So I'm gonna say, make documents from a fillable PDF. So I'm gonna click next and it's gonna ask me for my PDF document. So this requires you to have a document which has got fields already set up on the PDF. So this you typically would do using Adobe and you have set fields created. So I'm not gonna demonstrate that because that's again using the sort of Adobe software, but what you can see is in this document here, which I created in Word, I've then gone to PDF, I've created fields on it as you can see here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the information here and what I want to do is then map across to this one here. So let's just look at the various information here. So customer reference, I'm gonna drag that across here. So customer reference, customer, drag it across, contact name, drag it across, and business address is so the next one, so business address. Now, what I also want to do is, in terms of the mapping for this, the name I want to appear on the PDF is I want to have the customer uh, reference as well. So I'm gonna, not the customer reference, sorry, the customer name. So I'm gonna drag that to the top and that will be the document name as well. So in terms of date, I want the date to be um, here. So in terms of the date, let's just go in and put um, created is date, order reference, so is row ID, reference, product, productive rep goes into here, items to be supplied, drag across, quantity, price, and 
date to be supplied. So the bottom ones I'm not going to fill in because again it's a paper form so on that piece. So if I go to preview it's now going to do a preview of this information, customer reference, customer contact name and address and you can see all the various information is included as required and we've got the piece here. So if I come back out of the preview I'm now going to say generate and it's now going to attach to a row or I can download it. So I'm going to say attach to the row. And again, much as you saw before, this has now been created. Return to sheet. Would I like to save my changes before leaving? I'm going to say yes, save. And then that will have saved that setting as well. So next time I go, what you'll see is if I had a new item to, to do, um, so let me just show you that. So if I go in, say, generate documents, what you'll see is the mapping I've just created has just been set up here because I didn't change the name of it. And so I could now go in and say, call this demo of PDF. And if I go save, you'll see back in my settings, this is now saved up here. So you know the document, but each time now that you go back to create a new document, so any more requests that come in, you literally are able to go in and as you saw at the beginning of the demo, press a few buttons and create the PDF instantly. So again, here's the final document which has been created. Go in, have a look, it's good to go. I can now email that to the right person to print or however you want and then you move forwards. So that's to show you how quick and easy it is to create PDFs and again, you can see that by using the forms, you can take any information from uh, a sheet and put it into this format, which is much more elegant and more digestible than uh, reading a spreadsheet. So trust that's been useful. Thank you for watching and I will show you another demo soon.